Hi, Louie here from Groundstone. Uh, today we're going to be installing a septic system for this modular home. It'll be a relatively simple system. We've got uh, a lot of sandy soils here. So uh, we're going to be uh, able to do a, a conventional septic system. So that means just basically a gravity feed from the modular home into a thousand gallon septic tank. Um, it's then going to go into a distribution box and then we've got uh, trench runs uh, about four of them leading out from the house for our drain field. So uh, join us today and we're going to go through the installation process of a conventional septic system for a modular home. So basically to start off with, uh, we're just doing a trench line for a uh, drain into the septic tank. Just chipping away a little bit at the compacted uh, sand area because the uh, area where we're going to connect to is just right over there so we can't get an excavator in here so we have to hand dig this hard uh, sand out and we've got a two percent pitch leading into our tankage area which is going to be roughly here and then we're going to do a uh, rv tie-in as well up above and we're going to tie it all into the septic tank along with the modular home as well everything's going to be tied together Okay, so just to recap, we're uh, setting ourselves up to tie into the modular. We've already got this trenched and filled. So now we're carrying on this drain line where the septic tank is going to end up. This is going to be a clean out port. And we're also going to tie in here to the tank from an RV drain line supplied over there. So here's our excavation for the septic tank, which we're going to install right now. Okay, so what we did now is just drop in the septic tank into our excavation pit. Now what we're going to do is just tie the drain line from the modular to the septic tank here at the inlet. Okay, so now we're carrying on here. We've got another clean-out here, and this clean-out port belongs to this uh, RV drain line that we just tied in. So the RV at the distal end there will be able to discharge into this line here, which will go down to the septic tank here. So that's the inlet, not only supporting the modular home, but also the RV. Yep. As we uh, move yeah, down the line here, there. we've got the uh, end of the right, uh, septic tank okay. here, the outlet. Okay. You'll notice uh, it's a little bit deeper than I had anticipated. So that's how she goes. So we've got that uh, line heading towards the distribution box. And what I did was because this is downslope, I sort of um, tapered it off so we're getting less of a slope. As you can see that uh, I'm starting to rise my level here so it's not as deep. So that way my field, my drain field isn't going to be so deep as if I were to start it next to the septic tank. So in this particular case I'm going to switch gears to a seepage bed because I'm going to run out of space here for trenching before I reach the vineyard. So what I'm going to do is a long and narrow seepage bed so we switch gears whenever uh, we don't conform to our plan. So that's our next order of business. We're gonna start excavating the seepage bed area. So our next steps after we tied everything into the septic tank and led uh, the uh, drain lines out to the distribution box, we're basically excavating. We've uh, excavated the uh, drain field, a portion of it, and we're just uh, placing some rock now into our excavation bed. And our next order of business is going to be uh, basically to draw the lateral lines all throughout this section. So we're just moving along. We're setting up half the drain field at the moment. Yeah. Just because of the uh, task it is to move the rock close to the uh, structure there. So what we're going to do is half the drain field at one time. We just finished laying the rock down. And we're just going to backfill with some more rock, about two inches, before we put some fabric down. So now we continued um, digging out the second portion of the drain field. We're just going to throw in some rock now. 
build it up to the same level as the first half of our drain field. Again, we have our distribution box running from the septic tank. We still have to fit that together. So this is our finished uh, drain field. We added uh, rock over top and then a breathable fabric. So now all we're gonna do is just continue backfilling everything. So here's the finished drain field. It's all backfilled. Basically it just needs uh, some seeding, some grass seed, get this uh, area back up and going again. Right now it's a very rural terrain, so we just left it as it is right now. So from our modular to our septic tank, all the way up that uh, white pipe that you see way up there, that's for our, our V tie-in, and then our drain field.